It's not uncommon for people who work in the fitness and wellness world to really struggle with getting their marketing just right. With very, very powerful big influencers operating in this space, you're going to be getting bombarded with a lot of watered down versions of the same message that they're putting out. I bet right now you can think of a social media influencer who operates in yoga or Pilates or MetaFit or online personal training. And there's a really strong chance that people who work in your neighborhood are kind of copying what they're doing. Join me today on a turbo headshot session with Joe Proctor, also known as Little Miss Fit Jojo. If you're always seeking out creative inspiration on how you can use photography with a lot more effect to build your dream business, then you should go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Go ahead and hit the boxing bell and you'll be notified every single Friday when a new episode drops. If you work in the fitness and wellness world, then I am willing to bet that there is a strong chance that when it comes to anything to do with marketing, you get bored and irritated and then find something else to do because you want to procrastinate on it. More workouts, more nutrition, anything except the marketing. <laughs> now, if I'm wrong about you and you absolutely love marketing in your fitness or wellness business, then you're probably the person that is the anomaly that proves the rule. On today's episode, I am with Pilates instructor, Joe Proctor, from Little Miss Fit Jojo. She has taken all the right rebranding steps in the right order to put herself in a really strong position within her market. Jo is one of the many fitness and wellness professionals that I've worked with over my years as a headshots photographer. I really love working with people in this industry. As they professionally move their bodies for a living, they make for naturally great poses even the shy ones. I met Joanne online. She completed my five day love your selfie challenge. Now, if you wanna get better at shooting your own selfies as an addition to your headshots or perhaps as a little introduction to get yourself warmed up for professional headshots, then you should 100% do this challenge. I'll pop a little link for you in the show notes, shall I? When we got talking together as a result of Joe doing my challenge, we quickly found out that Joe had been working with another one of my clients, Yvonne Radley from the Dream Life Academy. Can you remember her very glamorous shoot that we did together in Marbella a couple of years ago? I'll put a link to that up here now. As soon as I found out that Joe and Yvonne had been working together, I knew that there was a very strong chance that she'd been doing everything in the right way and in the right order. And I was right. Be sure to comment below now and let Joe know which is your favorite image from our turbo headshot session together. I got Joe to do a little exercise that I ask for a lot of my new clients. I got her to ask all of her clients to give her feedback about why they love her so much. They were telling her that they absolutely love the atmosphere that she created during class time. Other clients reported that they felt like it was a weekly retreat and a perfect way to get a little bit of me time in an otherwise very hectic weekly schedule. She also learned that she has some catchphrases that she wasn't really very aware of before. Now pulse it, keep breathing lasses, and just eight more. 
This kind of direct market research is a really great way to establish some basic knowledge from people who already know, like and trust you when it comes to thinking about how you can make your brand even more personal and unique to you. Let's take a look at my favourite image from this session. What I love so much about this image is it was shot in the moment so I literally just said to Jo, can you do a headstand or a handstand? She was like, yeah, sure, no problem, and up she went. <laughs> and we did a little bit of play around with her facial expression and just started laughing at me. And then this is what we managed to catch. It's really interesting when I think about it because you can go into a shoot and do all the planning and all the background work and it's really to try and create these types of moments that are just in the mood and in the essence and you can kind of get to the point where you just wait for them to happen and you just got to be ready and I think that's why I love this so much so here's Joe doing a handstand showing you the benefit of what it's like to work out regularly with her. Now before you go anywhere don't forget to subscribe. Mwah.